Uh, this is build up your understanding. Question number 36 from the book Pathfinder. Question is, there is a card. It consists of a box of mass M. It is mounted on four identical wheels. Diagram is not given. I have made the diagram. You can just refer to this diagram here. Total mass of all the four wheels is also M. When released from rest on a uniform slope of inclination, theta equal to 30 degree. So that theta is 30 degree. The cart rolls down a distance L equal to 15 meter in three seconds. Now additional load of mass M is put in the box of the cart and the cart is again released. Now it is also given that load does not slide in the box. Calculate the time taken by the cart to roll down the same distance again. G is given as 10, right? So question based on a very important concept. Okay, so let us first see, refer to this diagram. Mass of the system is 2M first. In first case, mass uh, M is mass of the combined wheels and combined mass of the wheels and M is mass of the cart so or box. So equation will be in this direction was the equation 2mg sin theta minus 4f. Here I'm assuming friction f acting on each wheel. So this is equal to 2m into a, right? So that's the equation for force. Now after that, in torque equation, there is a very important point, very important concept, which I've written here, that box inside the car is performing pure translation. We can treat that as a point mass at center of mass, right? Why? Because if you see, if you imagine any line here, and now imagine after some time, what will happen? This cart will come here. So when this cart comes here, what will happen to the orientation of this rod or this imaginary line? It will be same only. So that means this uh, box is not sliding. Uh, sorry, this box is not rotating. It is performing pure translation. So if it is performing pure translation, it will not come in torque equation, right? So here I have assumed that F is the friction force acting on every wheel. So F into R is the torque on one wheel, right? Four times because there are four wheels. And K, now we don't know the moment of inertia of wheel. So I've assumed this as K. MR square, this is the combined moment of inertia times alpha. Fine. So that's the third equation is A equal to R alpha. This is the normal pure rolling equation. I hope you already know this. Now one, two, three, force equation, torque equation. And this is the constraint A equal to R alpha. That pure rolling condition you can say. Now from these three equations, 4F is KMA. So that 4F I have substituted here. And I found A. A is G divided by 2 plus K. Right? And to calculate A, already data is given in the question. That is 15 meter in 3 seconds. So A is 30 by 9. So K is given as K we can, we have calculated as 1. Right? Now after that it's simple. Now question says that there is additional load M is placed inside this. Which does not slide inside that, inside the card. So that will also behave as a dead weight or it will not rotate. So here, in second case, just that mass will become 3M, correct? But if you see now, this torque equation is not going to change. So 4F is still equal to K MR square alpha 1. Now alpha will be different, of course. So 3MG sine 30 minus, I have used uh, 4F value directly here, KMA1 is equal to 3MA1 because mass is, this is still force equation. So I've taken 3M. Now A1, you get this, this as this, K is 1. So A is this, new acceleration is this, acceleration of center of mass. And now the distance, we have to find out time to travel the same distance. The distance is 15, acceleration is this, you get TS 2 root 2 second, right? So that's the answer. So I hope you have understood this concept feel it's a very important concept for J advance. And let us now see one similar situation. So similar question. This is a question you can try. So question is, there is a hollow sphere filled with a non-viscous liquid. So if this is a hollow sphere of mass M, let us say, and this is a non-viscous liquid. So that means friction force cannot act between the uh, liquid and the sphere. As you mass of the liquid and the sphere is M. Suppose both have M mass, then find its acceleration for pure rolling. Right, so pause this video. First, find the acceleration. I will tell you how it is similar to the previous case. See, what's going to happen here, uh, the entire system will come down, but a sphere will, ro will roll, it will translate, a sphere, only a sphere, it will translate as well as rotate, right, so that there is no slipping here, that is what rolling is. But if you think about this mass M, 
it is only going to translate because there is the only interaction force between this sphere and the liquid is this, those forces, since there is no friction. Now, all these forces are passing through the center of mass of the liquid, which cannot provide any torque, so they cannot rotate the liquid. Right? I hope you have understood. So, liquid again behaves as a point mass at center. Right? It will not come in torque equation, but it is going to come in force equation. So, write the equation based on this hint and then try to find the answer. So, that's it. That was my analysis. Please subscribe to this channel if you have learned something. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.